In the past, thousands of children your age were involved in armed groups and militaries. They had all sorts of roles, often the worst and most dangerous ones which adults didn't want to do. In some countries, children were encouraged to join the army instead of finishing school. But training was brutal, army life was tough, and psychological problems were common. In countries at war, children often had few other options but to join up. In some cases, children were kidnapped. They were taken far from their homes and schools and made to do whatever the commanders ordered. For centuries, children were recruited in countries all around the world. Girls and boys were killed, injured and often suffered horrific sexual, mental and physical abuse. Children who escaped were desperate to return home, but many, especially girls, were treated as outcasts. They were left on the edge of community life and given no support. But finally, people decided to put a stop to all this. In 2000, an international treaty was adopted to end the use of child soldiers. Over time, more and more countries signed the treaty and stopped exploiting children. Some armed groups signed their own commitments too. Thousands of boys and girls were freed from a life of violence and fear. But it took more than just these signatures to banish child soldiers to the history books. The cycle of child recruitment was finally halted people understood that upholding children's fundamental rights was the only effective way to protect them from recruitment. After much effort by governments, the UN, civil society and communities, armed groups recognised children had no place in their ranks. All states declared 18 and banned the recruitment of children, made sure the ban was properly enforced prosecuted anyone who broke it and ensured all children had access to education, employment and security. And when exactly was that? You'll have to ask them. <laughs>